Why Circle CI is best for continuous integration and delivery. Say you have a production line making cars in a factory. Which would you prefer? The machine that makes the part well enough to get the job done while requiring little to no maintenance? Or the machine that makes a perfect part every time but needs way more tender loving care? This is the exact trade-off between Circle CI and Jenkins. Work smarter, not harder. Welcome to Kofi Group. We're the executive recruitment specialists dedicated to matching software developers and machine learning engineers. On a direct hire basis with VC-backed startups in San Francisco, Silicon Valley, New York and Austin. Our videos cover hiring tips and strategies for startups, software engineering, data science, interview preparation, salary negotiation, remote work, recruitment tips, and much more. Subscribe now for the latest software engineering and machine learning insights, invaluable hiring tips, and the best career building advice on YouTube. Also, make sure to stick around to the end for some bonus info that you don't want to miss. The production line metaphor is actually not a bad one when describing why Circle CI is the best framework for the fundamentals of a DevOps workflow. The goal here is to implement small changes and check in lines of code for the purposes of version control quite frequently. The end result is that you have a practice that helps the dev team to integrate and validate code changes without much disruption to functionality. Better yet, the delivery system can be automated by coordinating what changes need to be made to web servers, databases, user interfaces, and any other moving parts, so the updated application can deploy as it's meant to. The terms. Continuous integration, or CI, ensures that each individual part is made properly, will pass quality assurance tests, and is assembled correctly. Whereas continuous delivery, or CD, ensures that the assembled car itself is efficient. In coding, CI is focused on how well the code is written and how it's tested before being merged into the final build. And CD is concerned with making sure the master build as a whole is functional in a real-world application. The key is to have your CI and CD implemented so successfully that the handover between the two is a flawless process that takes the click of a button to complete. Continuous delivery requires a manual step or button press to commence, whereas continuous deployment describes the process of automated building, testing, and deploying done automatically with no manual intervention whatsoever. What is Circle CI? Once upon a time, Jenkins was the go-to tool for DevOps automation and worked quite well in an environment of quickly evolving technologies. It was and still is a popular open source tool for continuous integration and delivery. Sneakily, it's actually a fork of Oracle Hudson with an incorporated plugin system that includes third-party extensions, so additional tools and functionality can be added. The upside is that Jenkins grants the user with a creative license to experiment and explore new ideas with unique functionality in mind. But on the other hand, it's a case of given enough rope, you'll hang yourself. Added functionality comes with its own set of challenges. Configuration and maintenance get exponentially harder as the code becomes more complex. Just getting plugins to work and repairing problems encountered in the user experience often takes up more time than working in Jenkins itself taking programming resources away from the actual project. Circle CI is a case of same-same but different. It's been around for about a decade and was developed with hindsight as a design brief, essentially looking at what Jenkins did well and using that, and what Jenkins fails abysmally at and not doing that. Pretty simple stuff. Not only that, it draws upon nearly every CI CD toolkit that predates it, cherry-picking all the good ideas. Instead of adding in third-party extensions via a plug-in system, Circle CI just builds them right into the core coding to clean up the process and improve the user experience to make it less janky and buggy. It goes one further by sporting integrated communications that can easily talk to other third-party services, like GitHub, AWS, GCP, and Kubernetes. The main advantage, however, is that instead of setting aside resources to get your own particular flavor of in-house Jenkins to work as it should with the plugins, Circle CI has shareable orbs, which are pretty much packages of a certain type of Circle CI configuration. Odds are that someone somewhere has tried to do exactly what you want to do and has a cheat sheet for it, so to speak. What is Circle CI used for? 
Gotta keep feeding that CI-CD pipeline. Software development isn't really about developing software anymore, as counterintuitive as that sounds. This is a new age, and there is so much more that code can do than just be code. It can take over the way code is integrated and deployed. Think of it like the movie Inception, except this actually makes sense and there are no spinning tops. Continuous deployment is now accepted in the mainstream. Say you have a team of devs with each member working on a specific feature of the application. It makes sense to integrate each facet of the app as the bugs are ironed out and new builds are generated, instead of trying to mash them all in at the end and ending up with a cluster fork of clashing code. Circle CI does just that. Integration and delivery is automated for deployment, drastically reducing the amount of Sherlock Holmes level detective work you have to do when backtracked to find the root cause of the issue. Time is money and this saves on a truckload of time. Are you thinking about exploring new software engineering opportunities? Kofi Group is working with VC-backed SaaS, AI, developer tooling, and social impact startups around the country. All of the startups we work with utilize modern technologies, value work-life balance, and are hiring engineers on a 100% remote, on-site, and hybrid basis. We handle all salary negotiations and regularly see compensation packages, ranging from $150,000 to $200,000 a year plus equity for senior engineers. To benefit from a confidential conversation about your career and some of the best opportunities for software developers and startups, contact us at ko-fi-group.com today. Also, keep watching to the end for some bonus information about Circle CI's competitors. The process. The way Circle CI works is actually pretty straightforward. The developers pluck a section of code to work on from the common repository associated with the application and work on it locally, pretty much creating a new branch with any changes they make. When this new fork of code is ready to be reintroduced back into the collective, it's tested locally in the developer's environment it's been built in. If everything is all good and it passes, the new code is then transferred over where the change is reflected on the server where the application is rebuilt and tested as a whole. After the entire system is compiled and all tests are complete, the server spits out an outcome depending on how the new code checked out. Failed build, successful build, failed tests, or successful tests. If the build has passed with flying colors, the base code is updated to incorporate the changes. If not, the team has the chance to work on that particular section of code again making another branch iteration in the hopes that it tests OK and is merged into the main branch. Circle CI automates this whole process whenever the devs want to introduce new code into the application. It's nearly impossible to introduce bad code that has failed tests into the main branch. It has the flexibility to operate as a continuous delivery system, but ensures that every build that tests good is ready for release with the click of a button or function as a continuous deployment system by automatically releasing every good build to the production environment. You get to choose the level of automation you want. Circle CI Pros On the cloud Circle CI is a cloud-based system, so there is no server to administrate if you don't want to. However, there is an option to run it in a private data center. Dedicated servers are a thing of the past. Beginner-friendly it's super easy to get your application off to a flying start by using Circle CI, as it's extremely fast when compared to other CI CD toolkits. Just add the YAML file into the repository root, chuck some tasks inside it, and get to work. Unrivaled readability. Remember the factory reference? An easily readable YAML configuration and relatively lightweight construction is that machine that doesn't really need all that much attention for it to do its job properly. Also, it's text-based, which is awesome. Multitasking. Other CI CD tools only allow up to 20 members of a dev team working on the code at the one time. Circle CI can do over 10 times that, running hundreds of tasks concurrently while handling them at various stages of testing, building, and deployment. A seriously powerful and complex workflow that does the heavy lifting for you. No mucking about. As we've already touched on, the Circle CI application user interface already has the access to other third-party features. A free plan is available for even a business-level account, 
and there are completely ready-made solutions to suit your needs that require almost no configuration or adjustment. Like we said, more often than not, someone has been in your shoes before and has a shareable CI orb to make it all work as it should. Circle CI Cons The Support Although Circle CI can talk to a variety of programming languages, it only really runs Golang, Haskell, Java, PHP, Python, Ruby, and Scala out of the box. Anything else will need the appropriate Circle CI orb installed. Poor documentation. So, setting up Circle CI is easy, but at the same time, it's not instantly obvious. The documentation on how to get going leaves a lot to be desired. Mixed feelings. Although the user interface is way cleaner than Jenkins, that doesn't mean Circle CI is inherently good either. With such a high number of applications enabled, it can be hard to find the particular build or orb you're looking to use. Are you interested in a DevOps career path? Have you already started using Circle CI? Type Circle CI in the comments section below and share. Who's using Circle CI? Pretty much every major company has built an application using Circle CI at some point in their recent history. Some notable mentions include GoPro, Facebook, Spotify, Udemy, Kickstarter, Lyft, Delivery Hero. The list goes on. Congratulations, you made it to the bonus. Thanks for staying tuned in. As a special reward, we're going to take a look at some of CircleCI's top competitors. While CircleCI is a great tool, Jenkins isn't its only competitor, and some of the competition are pretty big names you may already be familiar with. Number 1. Jenkins We just spent a whole video discussing these two, so obviously Jenkins is its top competitor. Number 2. GitHub Users say it's easier to set up, better at support, and is easier to admin comparatively. Number 3. CloudBees CodeShip Supporters claim it's much simpler than Jenkins or CircleCI, and it's free to get started, which is always a plus. Number 4. BitRise Another plug-and-play option with many plugins offered. Number 5. GitLab Is great at creating and managing repositories and is also packed with good activity monitoring features. The CI-CD system you choose really depends on what you're doing and the way you're doing it. Circle CI is the go-to at the moment for small to medium projects, as it's the simpler and more lightweight of the two. However, Jenkins does still have a place in large projects thanks to the flexibility to incorporate third-party plugins as you please, and fully customize your own version to suit your needs. You can literally change anything and everything, but at the cost of speed and time. We hope you enjoyed why Circle CI is best for continuous integration and delivery. If you learned something from this video, please click that thumbs up button and let us know in the comments if there's any recruitment, technology, or startup specific content you want us to cover next. Do you write APIs? Check out our video on GraphQL next. To be the first to see other amazing recruitment, employment, and startup strategy videos, don't forget to subscribe and turn notifications on. At Kofi Group, we're the executive recruitment specialists dedicated to matching software developers and machine learning engineers on a direct hire basis with VC-backed startups in San Francisco, Silicon Valley, New York, and Austin. We help startups outcompete Fang, or Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Netflix, Google, and big tech in the highly competitive war for talent. To benefit from a confidential conversation about your career and some of the best opportunities for software developers and startups, Contact Kofi Group today.